It's Tom from Pack Hacker, where we review the best gear for travel for you. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Trayvax Contour Wallet, the newest and slickest offering from Trayvax. In addition to that, these guys hold the award for the most intense wallet promo videos out there. Let's check it out. In addition to the Contour, Travax also sent us the Axis Wallet, which is a bit of an earlier iteration on this idea. They also sent over the Element, which is gonna be a bit of a different look. It's gonna have a little bit more leather on it. But this review is all about the Contour Wallet, so let's check it out. We love the way the Contour looks. This machined CNC metal border that you see in the front here is solid, and it leaves you a nice little window if you have an ID inside. And if we contrast that with the leather on the backside, it creates a nice complimentary look. Now we wouldn't normally qualify a wallet as gear, but the durability of this thing and the way that it feels when you're holding onto it definitely seems like that's the correct word to use here. So coming with all that durability, this thing is going to be 2.55 ounces in weight. A little bit heavier than other wallets, but it's metal and it's solid. When asking about 20 other people what they thought of the aesthetic of this wallet, some liked it, others didn't, but that's to be expected. Oh, and one last little detail that makes this wallet great, there's a quote on the inside of it that says, earn your story. And I think this is pretty great for people that would be using this wallet, maybe more of an adventurous type or somebody that needs this extra durability. So. It's fitting there. So to start off, this was created by an actual human in the USA. Thank you so much, Tristan, for making my wallet for me. That's great. When initially unboxing this thing, we thought this hex wrench setup here would be a little bit complicated. And it was a bit complicated to understand at first, but once we have everything set, you don't really have to change it again. So that's only kind of a one-time deal. Most of us carry a fixed number of cards. So once you get these hex wrenches set based on how wide you want the wallet to be, based on how many cards you have, you're gonna be all set. This is actually a great idea when you compare this to other leather wallets that stretch out and then maybe you have cards slide in and out a little bit easier on these things. If you do try to take some cards or cash out, it doesn't create as tight of a fit. So with this thing, it's fully adjustable. It's a bit of a modular approach here. It kind of holds your cards all together in a very slick way. You can choose what leather strap you want to have with this thing. The original strap holds eight cards and 10 bills and the newer, larger strap holds 13 cards and 10 bills. So it's up to you what you wanna go with. We found that some cards can be a little bit thicker and even with the smaller original strap, we weren't able to fit eight of every card that we have in there. So just recommend that you get the larger strap if you're kind of on the fence between you know eight or seven or something like that. Just get the larger one. It's gonna be easier to fit everything in there. For those of us that travel a lot, we may not always have a fixed number of cards in here. So you go to a hotel, you pick up a new key card, you go to a new city, you pick up a new transit card, right? A lot of that has to be considered with this thing. So I would recommend keeping the strap a little bit looser so you have that extra room for cards. Now things will slide around a little bit more when it's not completely full, but things will never slide out completely. The thing still buckles down in the front here and you're gonna be good to go. The operation of this wallet is pretty slick. You just fold down this fastened strap in the front that's also adjustable, flick out to the card that you need and pull it out. Now, it's very slick once you get used to it and you get used to the motion. One thing that we have found is that some cards in here can stick together a little bit more than others. So if you have cards with raised numbers, they're gonna be a little bit easier to slide in and out. But if you have a bunch of flat cards, those may stick together a little bit more and provide a little bit more friction. So that'll be a little bit harder to deal with. I've really learned to love this thing. You know that thing when you're up at a counter at the grocery store or any store buying something and you're doing that kind of wallet shuffle, right? With this thing, you just quick flip to the card you want, pull it out, kind of use that as a space saver, toss it back in. Boom, you're done. No more sitting at the counter holding up the line. With the bills, you're gonna have to fold these up two times and they go in the flap behind the wallet. Now, you're always gonna have to take your full set of bills out and you can't really look through them individually as you could with a bifold wallet or a wallet of a different design, but that's not what this wallet is about. And the benefit that this wallet does have is that you can fit any other types of larger foreign currency in here as well. One of the things that you may run into with a traditional, say, US wallet when you're abroad 
Say you go to Singapore, right? Their bills are massive there and those are gonna stick out the top of the wallet for you. So you're gonna need to find some way to kind of mitigate that regardless. For this, they're a little bit longer than the USD. You just fold them up and slide them in there and they're gonna be fit and snug. There are also two other features on this wallet to note. See, that's what we call a gear. This wallet has features. We have a stealthy looking bottle opener right here that doesn't get in the way when it's not being used. And it's always a hit at parties or just if you need one in your Airbnb and they happen to not have a bottle opener, right? The other feature is this CNC machined loop right here on the metal. So super strong. If you want to attach a carabiner to it, maybe to like a lanyard that attaches to your pants or a chain, something that adds that next level of security without needing to wear an ugly money belt, you could definitely go for that when you're traveling around in a foreign country or you're in a more dicey area. Just don't use the carabiner to attach this on the outside of your bag. You don't want to invite people to steal all your money. If you put this wallet in your back pocket, it's gonna feel like you're sitting on metal because you are. You're sitting on a huge chunk of metal. So would definitely recommend putting this in your front pocket if you want to roll it that way. Just maybe separate from your phone. This thing is metal, it's heavy duty. You know, it can kind of move around. You don't want that scratching your phone screen or you know, creating any cracks or any other damage like that. One last thing to mention is that Travax offers a 65 year warranty. So you can't go out and run this thing over with your truck, but they will cover any manufacturing defects that happen. And this is a big core part of their brand. So they're definitely into the durability of their products, which is great. So to wrap up, the pros of this wallet are that it's high quality and good durability. The function of this wallet is useful without getting in the way. So you have the bottle opener and the carabiner clip as well as the nice sliding mechanism. The cons of this wallet are that if you have a lot of flat cards, it may be a little bit harder to move the cards in and out of the wallet. Cards with raised numbers are going to do better in here. And also the thing is kind of a pain to adjust. So if you plan on adjusting it just once and keeping it like that, that's great. But if you go in here and you continue to adjust it all the time, it can be a little bit time consuming and sort of annoying to do. But it all comes with the territory of the Travax Contour. Thanks for taking a look at the Travax Contour Wallet. For more travel gear reviews just like this one, head over to packhacker.com. We'll see you in the next review.